Like, um, I have so much confidence in my shot, you know, so I like to shoot it. You know, I don't, I think players that, you know, that are good shooters, you know, so scared to shoot, you know, shots. That's why, you know, they miss so many are, you know, they don't get enough shots. So, you know, I just like to put it up. Now, don't we wish we could all be so brutally honest about our endeavors? Meanwhile, the Manhattan story has been one of a great turnaround orchestrated by Steve Lappis. Steve Lappis, what a wonderful job, and it's defense, but it's also inside. Keith Bullock plays a little bit like Brian Shorter, the old Pittsburgh center, gets the shot off in traffic and very good with the dribble down the lane. I think, I think you'll like this feature. We were in the Manhattan locker room just moments ago, as Steve Lappis gave the final instructions to his Manhattan Jaspers. Starting lineups right now, and we'll have those for you in a couple seconds. Here's a look at the brackets, how they got here. Manhattan with a 79-78 win last night. Sienna, the host team, loses to LaSalle. That's the road to the MAC final here at Knickerbocker Arena. Jack Hurd, watch for him. He can shoot the three. Two-time academic All-American for Speedy Morris's LaSalle Ball Club. Meanwhile, for Manhattan, the man to watch in their starting lineup will be up in the, in the backcourt. That's Charlie Dubra out of San... Uh, make that Austin, Texas. Stephen F. Austin High School down in the Lone Star State. And the little guy can play, Raph. Mm-hmm. And a leader for Steve Lapis. Steve Lapis's club, 23-7, and 13-3 and three in the MAC, the number one seed coming in. And he says, hey, for a number one seed, we've got our hands full. You bet on that. And Bill Speedy Morris in his sixth year at LaSalle. Been a winner everywhere he's been at all levels. Set for action. Joe Sylvester, Joe Mingle, and Gene Manji are officials, and Manhattan will have the first opportunity to get on the board. This is Charles Dubra. Gary Edwards. And Manhattan looking at the LaSalle zone. Randy Woods at the top. Little two, three match, Dave. Identify the guy in your area and communicate. Steve was talking about basically run their basic man offense. There's Bullock. No, good rebound by Bron Holland, who did start last night to strain his right groin muscle. Hurt quickly, pulls the trigger, no good. Now, before you say to your husband and or wife at home, bad shot, there, no, there isn't anything like a bad shot for LaSalle, huh? If you're, if you're a youngster, and who doesn't like to shoot? <laughs> this is your opportunity. Watch this tonight with LaSalle. Manhattan will be a little bit more conservative and pound it inside. Or rebounding the important ingredient for Manhattan. Anything long, they have to track down and get some follow-ups on their own. And you heard with, Spitty Mo and heard with Steve Lapis mm -hmm. talking about everybody's got to rebound. Shot clock down to 19. Dubin. Can't get it. Rebound. Good block out by Milko Levers. Milko out of the Netherlands. And Holland blocking off the rest of Albany. It's a big front line. Jeff Neubauer has got a slide out of Louisiana. Randy Woods, first time he touches it tonight. Defensive assignment to Russ Williams. Gets the oh, pick. What a pick. Oh, brother. I'll tell you that, I would give that an intentional. I would give that intentional, Dave. Uh, indeed, and you should then check out the look on Russ Williams. Here's the replay. Uh, the presence, uh, you saw the Eagles as a kid. Uh, if they blocked like that, they would have had a couple of world championships. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that oh. awesome. And that extension, uh, that could be flagrant. Well, one thing we know for sure, Russ Williams can take a punch. <laughs> There's Edwards. Good use of the cross court. Ron Holland not showing the effects of the groin pull. Lands out of bounds. Let's see how he comes up. A four-on-five break. Randy Woods quickly. He gets hit. Nails it. He did get hit. And he's telling Joe Mingle, I would say he expresses himself. Free you spirit. Will, you will see a lot of that tonight. A couple of nights ago in the quarterfinal round, some of the Siena fans are getting on Randy pretty good, so all he did was light up Fairfield for 42. Uh, you can go by out top, but Randy is very good at stealing passes either diagonally or across the top. Edwards dependable. He'll go for three. Can't get it. Burnsley, good job with the rebound. Should, should be a walk. Indeed. You know, Dave, if you recall, Steve this morning at their shoot around Lapis, that is. So we've got to drive, create the pinch, and dish. And LaSalle is handling that very well early. Let's look at Steve Lapis. Went to the City College of New York, played his basketball for Floyd Lane, captain to the team his senior year. And then learned the game of hard knocks through Roley. Indeed. Randy Woods again. 
Look out. Randy Woods on fire to start it. And LaSalle with a 6 0 lead. And again, no such thing as a bad shot in the LaSalle offense. Here's the penetration. Good job by Williams. Good help. Bullock lost control, and Holland with the rebound. And LaSalle pitching a shutout early on here in the MAC final. Now, Neubauer has been steady with Paul Burke out. What was that school he went to? Yeah, yeah. My alma mater, Chestnut Hill Academy. Randy Woods, another one. He does it inside. He does it outside. Randy Woods with all eight points for the LaSalle Explorer. What impressed me the most, obviously the range, but the legs, the strength to get it up. LaSalle shooting three for four from the field. Manhattan is 0 for four. Not the start kicks the Jaspers were looking for. Uh, Steve's going to have to keep changing, which he is. Deployment, penetration. Got to come up with some answers against this matchup. Good rebound by Bullock. And judging by Levers. Reaction, and it's his foul, his second. Now, Dave, you mentioned Chestnut Hill Academy, Paul Burke School. Did they have sports? Get they out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think they had athletics. <laughs> that was the money, money version of the main line when I was in Philly. We should point out that the number 25 you will be seeing Jack Hurd wearing for that man Speedy Mars. It was not retired. Bill Raftery wore it. It was not retired from Bill's school days, and I say, D-A-Z-E when we talk about school okay, days. Mike. Our coach no, uh, he retired it in the restroom. But uh, between us, <laughs> he's got 1,700 points. I said, Jack, you know, between us, we have 2,000. <laughs> he's had two great careers. Well, it's dependable from the foul line for Big Ben, 71%. Leading score, leading rebounder, 16-7 with the point seven seven with the rebound. A lot of uh, anxious moments early, I think, by Manhattan, trying to get their leg. Oh. The other thing about LaSalle, with the long-range shooting, Dave, as we discussed, they'll get you back in it, too. You can't make all the deep ones. That's right. I mean, you can be up 10 or 12. They come down a couple of trips and miss. Mm -hmm. You can convert. It's heard and good call by Jody Sylvester. An easy one there, the walk on Jack Hurd. That particular play with Hurd coming up top is going to be met with a lot of resistance. They haven't worked a lot on that team. And they're going to switch if they have to. They're going to obviously hedge when they can. But Russ Williams is going to have to just treat Woods the same on defense as Woods treats him on offense. Bullock, Burnsley on the floor again. He dove on the floor two nights ago and had to get a five-stitch cut zone up. Thank you. Nice. Inside, Holland will get a foul. And they call the walk. Yeah, tough. They call the steps. Bron Holland forcing the walk. Early on here at the MAC final, LaSalle on top by six. Let's talk about a quick release, Raph. Well, get your feet set. Get the puppy set on the open. He said he's never met a shot he doesn't like. Not much room. The ability to convert. And on the other end, Russ Williams has to guard him. And I started to say, Dave, You've got to have the same mentality as the shooter. Just because he scored, don't let it bother you. Go out and guard him and stay with him because Woods is not going to worry about how many he takes. And, of course, the range is not going to bother him either. We saw that 316-3 attempts by Randy Woods as a club coming into tonight's game. The Sal had taken 778 threes. Not a miss for it either. 778 threes. He's got, he and Hurd have their fair share, huh? about this Manhattan maybe a little nervous rap at the start I think they've got a little anxious moments going right now of course Steve Lapis will blame the shooting on Steve Pannell and his assistant <laughs> they gotta relax with Neubauer loose ball picked up by Edwards Manhattan with the break well, Williams got a lot of resistance there David Burnsley with the rebound pretty good day their defense is going to get them back in Manhattan it's patience here try and find a spot, kick and reverse the ball. It is right there with the three is Russ Williams. Started all 30 games for the Jaspers. And he gets him on the board. Here's Woods. Got it by Russ Williams. Oh. Chokes him again. He fires oh. him there and nails it. Could be a long one. He freezes. Randy. He just freezes you, doesn't he? 11 points, Randy Woods. What a shooting performance. He's three for three from three. Mm. Chris Fowler in the studio was there when he was one of the hidden gems. Bullock, his specialty. Randy can light it up. 
He freezes you, gets your hands down. You must be ready for the release. If this were the Far West, there'd be a lot of dead soldiers out there. <laughs> Quick Schultz. trigger. Ray Schultz into the lineup. Oh! Missed that one. Ron Holland with the push-off. You bet you go the other way. Ron Holland started tonight. We mentioned last night in the semifinal against Siena. Pulled his right grind muscle. Did you notice his brother at the shoot-around today? His brother looks like an offensive tackler, <laughs> as does Braun, for that matter. They look they at like revival bordering... running career behind him, right? He's from... They look like bordering countries, don't they? <laughs> Great football player, heavily recruited, supposedly, or will be. Charles Duber walks into the three, a little long. Randy Woods with the rebound. I think they got Burnsley on that. He's aggressive, goes after it. Sort of their meat and potatoes guy. Second foul on Burnsley, who's starting in the absence of number 54, Jamal Mashburn. First foul on Burnsley. Jamal Mashburn, a couple of nights ago, broke his left wrist Saturday night quarterfinals against St. Peter's. And he'll be missed 6'9", 230. It will hurt. Anytime he get inside, Hurt doesn't play too much close to the hole. Let me correct myself, Jamal Marshall. I have so many Jamal mm -hmm. and M's. So Jamal Marshall. Apologies to Mr. Mashburn in Kentucky. 13-7. Is on top. High post, look opposite. Little hole in there. Schultz not coming up. Wooden unsure as to where to go. Edwards off the dribble. Nice job. 13-9, LaSalle over Manhattan. Carrie Williams. He's out of Bristol, Connecticut. Doesn't Carrie the guy that Fordham would like to forget? Actually, it was the other one, Carrie Wilson. Well, we'll see a little bit later. Oh, okay. The left hand, Jack Hurd. Hurd is new by Randy Woods. Post. Oh goodness! He gets hit, goes down. Manhattan with the break. Duba penetrates. Nice job. That's Charles what they Duba. need. As as called by Steve Lapis, get in the teeth because. It's a little Mexican standoff at the top of the key. Randy's not going to get down and stop you. No. Randy Woods quickly off the spin. The hole by Russ Williams. Indeed. And Steve Lapis, first. Uh, Russ Williams, first foul on him. Steve Lapis, a conversation with Gene Mangi, and I think Steve's very excitable. I wonder where he learned that. I just remember that he. Uh, He's an assistant for Mr. Massimino and company at Villanova. And I'm really very proud of him in there as well as should be. I love the voice, though. He's starting to sound like Luke kind of second. That's right. <laughs> New bound. Knocks down the baseline jumper on the south, 15-11. And LaSalle now to more of a standard and a man defense. Inside bullet took an extra step, got away with it, gets the foul on Blitz Wooten. Blitz Wooten and Ray Schultz making up the front line for LaSalle. Oh, I've been talking to Bob Vitrone, who's their PR man, SID. Wooten is their inside shot blocker, and here Bullock has that ability to just get up high enough or create problems for even good shot blockers. But Bob Vitrone was saying Wooten is a guy that blocks shots, something LaSalle doesn't have with their starting lineup, so it ignites their break. Bullock looking for his fifth point. He's got two boards. Off to a good start. Keith out of New Haven, Connecticut. Went to Notre Dame High School. He was on the honor roll all four years in high school. Oh. Those guys were always too smart to come with me. <laughs> Generally, it, it's nice to see a, a combination of a guy who plays a murderous inside game and on the honor roll. Good for him. 15-13, Sal over Manhattan, 12-18 left. Here in the first half at Albany, New York at the Knickerbocker Arena. There's a turnover. They got a say. They got a foul. They got a Wood. foul off the ball. And Williams and Wood, Woods particularly, a little chatting. There'll be a lot of chatting tonight. We'll, we'll watch that, especially with Randy Woods off to such a good start. And that was a tough call, too, because there was a turnover by LaSalle. Second foul on Russ Williams. Coming in right now for the Manhattan Jaspers, Kerry Wilson. And the, this is the exchange along the baseline. He actually, Bursley actually bumps him in as he turns his back on his man. And Randy Woods off the inbounds. 
almost knocks it home. And Hatton with a chance to tie. Here's Bursley inside the Bullock. He's got the spot. Nice scores. Nice job. Great dish from the top. Tough area to defend in the three-second lane. Good job by Manhattan to tie it up. LaSalle got off to an 8-0 start. We're tied now at 15. Randy Woods shut it out. Fires from three. No good. Good rebound. Charlie Dubrow. Charles gets into a little trouble and gets out. Nice job. Now they're not afraid to push it up and see if something shows and then run their stuff. Good kick. Wilson for three. First shot, no good. Edwards with the rebound. He goes up strong and gets it. Gary Edwards with four points. And Manhattan with its first lead, 17-15. The double screen on one side, single. First for Woods. Good anticipation. Wilson, he'll go to the line. Good job by Kerry Wilson. And as we mentioned earlier, that is a main play for the LaSalle Explorers coming up from the baseline. And did a good job defensively. How about the nine in the ball, Dave? Good Manhattan half-court defense. You bet. We're at the Neck Arena. Manhattan is taking the lead. 17-15. We're back after this. Three with you. And Manhattan's on a 10-2 run the last two and a half minutes, Raph. Well, the stroke there, unsuccessful, but... Carry in the right spot, Edwards, as he finishes off. You mentioned the ability to shoot deep. Carry Wilson, a lefty, beating toward him from the sideline. And a guy that can stroke the basketball. He impressed me. Another guy that slashes real well to the hole. Here's Edwards. Gets inside, Duba. They were successful flashing in the three-second lane. Let's see if they're able to take that away and what Manhattan counters with. Here's the flash. Earnsley to Bullock. Earnsley, Edwards, good rotation to the hole. Wilson, lefty, no. Burnsley, rebound, yes. Manhattan up by four. 19-15, this after being down at the start. Eight zip. Ray Schultz, high post. Little guard around and drill it. Edwards, ball kept alive. And Holland was hit from behind. There'll be a foul on Keith Bullock. At a position, and the one thing the LaSalle up front people understand, Dave, is the little guys are gonna shoot it, you get in position underneath. And they don't have great foot speed to get back as the Blue Hands, Tom Meese Club, doing all right. And up quickly, LaSalle on the board once again, Randy Woods. And LaSalle to within two. Woods has 13 of the 17 LaSalle points. Trying to split the point guy, whoever that may be. Woods on most trips. Good block. Blocked by Jack Hurd. Ball out of bounds on Bullock. Good double team by Hurd to help out Milko Levers. You've got to make quick decisions as a center because the 2 3 zone, everybody's coming at you. Gary Wilson, his, his assignment to stop that man. Nice dish. Leverst inside quickly. Leverst did that all day yesterday against Siena. And we got a tie ball game at 19. Leverst shot real well yesterday. Uh, the pros like Woods, obviously the range. But he can dish the ball. Yes, he can. He is an excellent passer. Tie ball game here at the Nick Arena. Edwards. For the jumper, no good. Rebound, there's another long rebound. Neubauer gets it to her. Great. Inside the Leavers. Well, they don't get up and down, but that time Leavers, bad leg and all. They get the puppies going. Milkos had four leg operations in his uh, four years at LaSalle and looking at another one when the season's over. He shot seven for 10, Milko Leavers, against Siena last night. Here's Burns. Force. He got hit. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Bron Holland with the foul. Oh, they're permitting the ball to get in there. That should be an easy trip for Manhattan until they take it away. Uh, the big chest didn't help that time as Holland shoved. Chris Williams into the game. He replaces Charles Dubra. Chris will run the point. Smooth is his nickname. Talking about number 20. Let's look at Charles Dubra. Did a good job running the ball club. Randy Woods, the foul, his first. Burnsley goes to the line. His folks are here. Saw them a little earlier. What was your nickname at Chestnut Hill? Chestnut Hill? 
Didn't have one. Oh. You know, I've never had one. How about you? No. no. Shucker or anything Mike. like fit. It's more what, you? Pumper. Yeah, made pumper. Made. Right. Three points and four boards for David Burnsley. Transferred from Rhode Island. Played for Tom Penders a couple years ago. He's the only Manhattan player with NCAA experience. The Jaspers haven't been to the NCAA tournament since 1958. Meanwhile, LaSalle's been, been there two of the last, make that three of the last four years. Owens and Garrett was the backcourt for Rhodey. A little too deep on the baseline. The right idea to leave her. Sure was. There's a look at Stevie Lapis. And coming up, championship week continues. The Missouri Valley Conference Championship. Tonight at 9.30, Tulsa against Southwest Missouri State. And that game will be right before Sports Center. And after Sports Center, you've got Gonzaga against Pepperdine in the West Coast Conference Championship. Three-point attempt, no good to rebound by Wilson. Over to Williams. Gary Wilson into the lane, right hand and scores. He's for the lefty, nice move. He is a nice player, goes without the ball. Pretty good range. They say he's up and down. You no mentioned problem with him. You mentioned Manhattan might have been a little bit nervous. Seems to uh, hit their stride pretty well. Mm -hmm. Woods is so fast. Good pass. No ball. Levers gets the roll. Levers 23. All six points for Levers. Know what Speedy's done with his team? They're content. They obviously look for the three, but other, everybody else seems to know what they have to do to contribute. Edwards. Williams has it go out of bounds. Oh. Look at the speed. And Randy Woods, boy, he made up some ground. It's out of bounds on LaSalle. We're tied at 23 here at the Nick Arena. Mac Conference Championship up for grabs. We're back after this. New York, the Mac Conference Championship, not to be confused with the Mid-American. We're talking about the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Championship here in Albany. It's been a great weekend. A lot of good basketball. Right now, Manhattan, the number one seed in white, battling the number two seed, LaSalle. Tied at 23 with 7.30 left in the first half. Manhattan did such a nice job utilizing the floor with their cut through and the three-second lane. A nice ball fake. We heard a lot about that today. Ball yep. fake. And Terry Edwards with six points on the evening. Randy uh, with the lingerie on the floor on that one. No question. Not attentive. Heard a lot about that. Steve Lapis said one of them about, I guess, 30 points. He did a great job of emphasizing this morning at the shoot. Levers has it knocked away. Burnsley with the recovery. The big guy's leading the break. So much for that, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's why they caught up. <laughs> Turnover story. Got LaSalle with seven. And now Manhattan with four. Got to value each possession. Mm -hmm. One of the dictums of a coach, right? And the rebounding, as we mentioned, uh, Manhattan with six offensive rebounds, a total of nine. So that's a key figure for them. Gary Wilson, starting Woods, Hurd, fade, scores. That is tough. It sure is. Edwards used to them running down screens. All of a sudden, the post up by Hurd. Four points for Jack Hurd. Maybe an easy one. Burnsley with the score. They beat the double team. David Burnsley with six. And Manhattan with a two-point lead at the 6.20 mark. This is basically the star system of LaSalle against a little bit more conservative of team approach by Manhattan. Did you see that particular play, David, double in the three-second line? Bet. It's a three-second violation. Ends up a foul. And they were there for a great deal of time. Gary Wilson with the foul, his first. Wilson number 42 is guarding this man, Randy Woods. Curry, quick release. Maybe Four. three. Maybe one of the top two or three releases in the country. Without a doubt. Catch, snatch it, and deliver. Seven points for Jack Curry. Not going to dazzle you with the speed, except with the, the quickness of his hands. A lot of drilling. It may not look as methodical as Manhattan's sideline violation. Indeed. But there is effort and drilling that goes on to get you guys these kind of shots and, and for them to convert as well. The Sal up by 128-27. And Heard not quite heating up yet. Woods got off, made his first three, four shots. Here's Woods again. NBA three. And rebound. Good job by Chris Williams. Yeah. <laughs> 
Burns is always at the top, pretty good at finding people. Distributes well. Yeah, he does. Then he sneaks himself down on the baseline, hops back up. Edwards will reset. Over to Williams. Brazy played on the Bank of Beef team as well, didn't he? 1989. Yeah. Great experience. Oh, yeah, man, great experience. Represents you. Country in Maccabee games. Well, Twelve seconds left. Haskell Cohen used to organize in America the Maccabee team. I almost had a chance to coach that. Then he watched me perform. And how, how about, about that? The man with the shot. Shot against Fordham earlier in the, in the <laughs> season. My best friend. Is it Terry Wilson? The glass. Five. He didn't call it. You hear him call it? Maybe, maybe I missed it. Under his breath. Sal back on. Make that Manhattan back on top. All right. No good. Wilson with the rebound. He doesn't have numbers. He'll go anyway. With the flip. Wow. With the flip. Well, he had the kiss from deep. And straight in from that tough angle. Manhattan by four. Coming up at a four-minute mark. First half of the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Championship. Randy Woods. Mark it down. That's a three. And they got it they're disconcerting. Yeah, Rand, they're Randy they're haunting. Doing, Randy, Randy doing too much. John Speedy's taken off his jacket and thrown it. And the officials certainly have been looking for that because two nights ago in the quarterfinals, Randy did a lot of jawing against their team. Haunting and Speedy is not hollering at the official. He's mad at Randy Woods. And here it is. Hits the NBA three. And then and it, I got right in his face. Good call by Tom Woods. Right in his face. Uh, Randy on it and uh, Joe Mingle <laughs> listening as well. But uh, and, this, that, and you see Speedy giving Randy Woods what for at the top of your screen. Uh, this reminds me a little of Al McGuire when he was the coach. Al not afraid to go after guys and they can respond as well. Healthy. They're going to straighten it out. Close to the ball game. Bullock misses that one. Manhattan seven for eight from the free throw line. LaSalle has not been to the line as of yet. Boy, that is something. Player of the year in the MAC conference and gets called for a technical and then gets benched momentarily. Relax, Dave. He'll be back. Heck of a story if you're folks down in Philly. He's got 16 points, Randy Woods. Well, you don't win 78% of your games keeping a guy out. Nice post pass. Sure was. And a good hook by David Burnsley. 35 31 Manhattan. Eight points for Burnsley. That was Randy Monroe, an assistant for Speedy, trying to calm down Mr. Woods. Jack Hurd will be called on to do just that. Mr. Valley, Terry Wilson, active, done a great job coming off the bench. New Bauer. Nice job. And Chris Williams will reset for the Manhattan Jaspers. Edwards to Bullock, a little bit out of his room. Williams for three. 38 31, Manhattan. Woods back up. That was a key take. Changed it a little bit. Got Manhattan's attention. Biggest lead for the Jaspers here at seven points. Colombo with the heave. A lot of contact. Steve Lapis going crazy. Levers knock Bullock down. Blitz Wooten short. And Burnsley with the rebound. Blitz cold from deep. Andy Woods about to come back in. Manhattan with its biggest lead at seven. Partially deflected by Hurd twice. When your philosophy is the threes and your main guy's out, He's got some difficulty scoring. Wilson, no, with the three rebound levers. They can really pay attention to Hurd right now. <laughs> Speedy Morris going to try to regroup here. Down by seven with 2.20 left. A good one with a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line here in Albany, New York. There's a place where the home team. Albany. Arena in Albany, New York. Manhattan up by seven. It's biggest lead. And. So far, this is one of the big stories in this game, Ref. Well, unsportsmanlike technical, which means he doesn't get a personal foul, but uh, unnecessary. And the way Speedy went after him, I'm sure they've talked about it, and a ref doesn't have to warn you. You can sing it right, and you can also throw a guy out. 
without the warning or without the second take. Gary Wilson with the foul to reach around his second. The South shooting 54% from the field, Manhattan 52%. Lutiki Colombo leaves the game. There he is, Jack Hurd back in for LaSalle. He took that 1-3, and he was telling us last night to Kemby Mutombo, that was his cousin. I don't think to Kemby took a three in his years at Georgetown, do you? Not at all. Not oh. at all. Let's move. Lewis way out of his range, posting Hurd, knocked away. Wooten comes up with it. Now, Neubauer was very steady last night. And could open it up with a, a three as well. He could assist him. Look at his shot. Oh, almost. Foul on Jack Hurd. Jack Hurd on the foul underneath. And that was now that was a force. Yeah, that was rather an unusual release. Off the wrong leg, fading away. And the temperament of others is what's amazing. It doesn't bother the other LaSalle players. Little bump, but uh, I think he could have gotten it to somebody. Seventh team foul, so we're in the one and one for Manhattan. Newbauer with encouraging words. Randy Woods. That was a great story with Newbauer leaving New Orleans. And the lefty struggling a little bit, huh? Drexel Dragons tied at 31. Delaware over Vermont, North Atlantic. And Edwards with his seventh point. Slidell, Louisiana. And they had, was a Lubanda, the late Lubanda, well respected, old friend of coaches. Distant re relevant. Yeah, about the speedy. Speedy. mentioned the player, and they got some tape, and all of a sudden, he visited Philly and stayed. Well, the cuisine is similar. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Hoagies and uh, cheese steaks. Yeah, yeah, not even close. Manhattan, Goldman's biggest lead now. It's up to nine points. 130 left in the first half. Woods, good look inside the whoop. With the fade, got it. Woods, whoop, makes it a 40-33 Manhattan advantage. And a little down by seven. Here's a little pressure. Deployment essential in the next pass. Hit right nice front of up. us. We're ready. New Bauer. Randy Woods. Good look. Weavers. Kick. Kick no good. We're going to say something. Interfering. Wilco Leavers missed a duck right there. He was seven for ten. Last night against Siena for 19 points and plays just like that. Here's a look. Good job by Jack Hurd. Speedy alert. Switches the defense. They got to get his, his wants to get his club involved. The three-quarter court pressure effective, but uh, as you noted, maybe a little too close to the tin. Final minute, first half. Here in Albany, New York. Manhattan Jaspers of Riverdale, New York. You think of Dale, the Bronx. You think of Manhattan, I always think of Jack Powers playing for Kenny Norton. Some great games in the old garden. Of course, in the 70s, Jack made a living beating us at Seton Hall. We were in their home game. They used to play their away game in our gym. It didn't matter. Bullet. 15 knocks it down. 42-33. That's 11 for Keith Bullet. Manhattan looking good here. Number one seed. Regular season champ in the MAC. And LaSalle, the number two seed, final 12 seconds. Randy Woods with the ball. Uh, he won't give it up either. He makes some penetration, try and nail one. Russ Williams wants a good shape. Jack Kerr. That's the name of the game right here, fellas. The name of the game is the glass. They got very few, if any, points on second shots. You know what? They shot 42%, 43% from three in the first half. <clears throat> they ain't going to shoot that in the second half, I promise. Believe it. I, never, I haven't taken you wrong yet. I'm not going to take you wrong tonight. Keep contesting them hard like that, they're going to miss, especially when it gets down to three minutes and two minutes. So let's go get this one, fellas. And Dave, I'll tell you another thing. LaSalle, 6 of 14 from threes. Eight misses. LaSalle's only had one rebound on those eight. <laughs> you got them down pretty good. We got the voice. I'm going to stand up there. Second half action. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Jack Hurd gets LaSalle off quickly. 42-30, 12 for Jack Hurd. Now, what Lapis has going now, Charlie Dubra in the game. Kerry Wilson on fire. 
able to come in and lift them. So he's got a nice little rotation going. Charlie Dubar just got knocked down by Newbauer. Shots the uh, shot distribution for Manhattan was quite balanced in the first half. Good job by Edwards, Harry Edwards. I thought you were going to say LaSalle. Evenly <laughs> no, no, no such thing. Oh, 20 of the 28 shots by Hurd and Woods. Good mix for Manhattan. A lot of fives and threes and sixes in their field goal attempt column. Randy Woods, left hand. Nice. Good dish. Leavers make this one. He had missed one earlier. A duck inside. Four point game. Manhattan on top. Leavers with eight. Now you think of Spud Webb and Michael Adams, amongst others, Bugsy. And you got to think with Woods' shot, deep shooting ability and penetration, he might make it. On the pass, Russ Williams trying to get a hit to the line, and Jody Sylvester says no. Russ Williams fouled on the pass. Neubauer with the foul, his second. Eddie Lapp is talking about the rebounds. 16-10, one by Manhattan in that first half. Now that voice will be big in New York. Huh? Oh, but he's no done with that program. No question. Kick to Edwards. Randy Woods thought he had it. Bullock got it. Deep Bullock makes it 46-40. Bullock with 13. Manhattan doing a good job as they started. A little shaky. Down eight nothing. Come back and have done a terrific job here at this point. Up by six. Ron Holland with the rebound. Now uh, Levers with the easy shot upset himself, but Holland in position, and that's the concern of Lapis. And I'm sure Speedy discussed that too. Hey, let's hit the glass. Fallon Charles Dubra, his first. And the Sal inbounds, looking to cut into the six-point lead. Neubauer, Woods, and Hurd with Leverst and Holland up front for the Explorers. Uh, Russ Williams got lost on this play. Nice Look at this. Dish. Wow. He is quick, though. You noted that in the first half, with or without the ball, and he likes to find people. He, he's, uh, he's in contrast, isn't he? Loves the deep one, and yet is a superior passer. And he's a good rebounder inside. Good rub off by Holland. Great, great strength, too. And as they go back live, Jack Hurd heating up. That's a three. Lead down to 315 for Jack Hurd. And here come the Explorers. And Steve Lapis was right. They weren't going to shoot that percentage the whole game. They could have broke, too, you know. That's right. <laughs> oh, what a tough pass. Ooh, a bad foul by Hurd in the open court. Gerald Duber paying the price. Second foul on Hurd. Duber, tough, tough Texan playing in Manhattan. And that's the Villanova contact. Lapis met some people down in Texas when he was recruiting for Rolling, and they remembered him and, of course, recommended Dubra. Williams and Dubra in the backcourt for Manhattan. Burnsley, Bullock, and Edwards up front. Now, Bullock didn't kill himself with the dribble. Burnsley did. Little man on the floor. Scores for Manhattan. Charles Dubra. 48-43 Manhattan coming up on the 17-minute mark. If you're, Manhattan, if you're uh, LaSalle here, Raph, that's what you want to do. I was going to well, ask you, what do you do? They, you got a screen to rubble mouth. Well, when you analyze their team, they're not going to go inside at all, but they've done more of it than I've seen because Hurd has that mismatch. Sure enough, 17 for Jack Hurd. This is the club that usually does a nice job going in and finishing or kicking it back out. Sure enough, Bullock a great target, isn't he? Good target and fended off Holland very well. Pretty good job. And Holland's showing a lot of perseverance with the difficulty with his leg. The other thing, it wasn't like we had to worry about him running a 4-5-40. <laughs> I think he'd be the first to admit that. I don't think I was telling you anything else. I don't think Holland ran the bases in Little League. <laughs> no. Probably was getting four baggers. That's what they do well. In. Oh, Bullock, good shot with Levers right in his face. Manhattan has made its last 10 two-point field goal attempts. They've got good angles on their passes. And an excellent goal from inside. Look out. Bullock with the save. Dubra. 
Oh. Nice lob to Bullock. Manhattan looking great. 52-45, 17 for Keith Bullock. Here's Neubauer. Randy Woods with the pick. Holland freed up and scores. Uh, they're going inside because of the pretty good defense outside. Nice call by Speedy. Good back screen by Woods. First bucket for Bron Holland. Good matchup here. Randy Woods on Duber. Hurd and Edwards. Beavers on Burnsley. Miniman here. First time for LaSalle. Good entry pass. Dubra with another one. Charles Dubra. That was a deuce. First half all zone. Second half a lot more man to man trying to step it up LaSalle. Manhattan by seven. 11 straight two point buckets for the Jazz Boots. Make that 12 straight twos. Very impressive. Levers. Ooh, the elbow. There we go. That'll help. 54-49. It's 10 for Milko Levers. You look at that scoreboard, there's a lot of numbers. The one concern for Steve Lapis is getting into the high 70s. That's right. High 70s is all in hand. I mean, it's all LaSalle, so watch out there. Another one. A three this time by Russ Williams. Well, he deserves a few. He's trying to track Woods all night. These two teams split the season series with Manhattan winning by two at its place and LaSalle winning in Philly by 23. Randy Woods, first three, first bucket, second half. Play-by-play uh, -play guys can't put their heads down. No, I noticed. You can't keep scoring. Yeah, I'm trying to cheat here, <laughs> up and down, up and down. 19 for Randy Woods. Edwards brought it by her. Edwards missed last year with a bad back. Burnsley up top. Haven't had to talk much about the shot clock, have we? Not at all. Williams challenges hard, and he's called for the player control. Foul will go the other way, and they wipe off the basket. The foul has shown a different side with their more aggressive man-to-man -man defense helping out one another playing the pass lanes a lot better it's Manhattan by five trying to get back to the NCAA for the first time since 1958 Kabaka Arena Dave Sims and Bill Raftery with you a couple of Philly teams hanging tough Temple down at the Palestra LaSalle here down by five and a good one for the MAC championship And here's some of the field goal looks. Look at that. Both of these teams are getting it done. Whoa. You may have gotten away with that we one. sure did. If we flinched, you know a lot of other fans are flinching. Levers way out top looking for Woods. The way you have to guard that they stretch the floor so much, it's got to help inside. Get up fake by Brian Holland. Now you got to go out and tag all these shooters. There's so much area to make passes. Four points for Bron Holland. Three-point advantage for Manhattan. Biggest lead, nine earlier. Make that late in the first half. Ooh, Woods may have gotten away with one there. Bullock. Patient. Good inside move. Look at Good that rebound. Bullock up and scores. And Milko Levers, what did he take a hammering in that one? He is very patient on offense to the point that when he is shooting, he knows exactly where the shot's going to come. down, in control, able to pursue. 19 for Keith Bullock, leading scorer, leading rebounder for Manhattan. Jack Hurd, quick release, rebound, ah. tipped around. Williams with the rebound. Russ Williams. Dupra in control here, Dave. Burns lift top, Williams looking for Bullock. Not too much with the dribble. A lot of motion, back screens. Bullock will hit one. He hit one uh, late first half on that spot. Dupra. No good. Burnsley beats two. Just hangs around. Good boarding by David Burnsley. Last year, LaSalle lost in the, and Edwards just comes up limping. Get an injury timeout. 
Jerry Edwards came out of that little of a, of a pick situation. So it's, he will be attended to. Got a five-point game. Manhattan on top here in Albany. We're back after this. 25% of business people travel to small towns. That's why from Opelika, Alabama to Calais, France, you'll find us. Holiday Inn. Stay with someone you know who really knows you. He could have had the 60-foot sailboat, the house on the 18th green. But all Ned Crowley ever really wanted was a home on the range. At Dean Whitter, our retirement plans are as individual as the people who dream. We measure success one investor at a time. Well, boys, how do you like the new backyard? Right now at Pizza Hut, get a supreme pizza. Thanks, Chris. Welcome back to Albany, everybody. Manhattan with a five-point lead over the LaSalle Explorers. And, Bill, we might tell our audience that Jasper, those may not be familiar with the Jaspers. Named after Brother Jasper of Mary, brought baseball to Manhattan College in the late 19th century. Brother Jasper is responsible for the invention of the seventh inning stretch. And we can blame him for all those talk shows all over America <laughs> about baseball. <laughs> you can relate. A little zone. Bullock with the follow. Blitz Wooten got a piece of it and probably did more than anything to help it go on the hoop. Uh, this is one where they could have called the foul on the floor, but pursuing the ball, something that Lapis was concerned about. They have been aggressive, positioning themselves, and this conversion, a big basket for the Jaspers. 21 points, four rebounds for Keith Bullock. Foul on Blitz Wooten. It was his second. Bullock misses, heard rebound, Manhattan up by 7, 11.20 left in the ball game. And Manhattan's done a great job scoring inside with 28 points in the paint. And a foul by Edwards on Jack Hurd. All right, now let's get back to our ESPN studios in Bristol. Here's Chris Fowler. All right, fellas, we'll go back to the Mac in a second, but we want to go to the Palestra. Well, West Virginia playing Temple. They have staggered in the second half, but they've regained a three-point lead. Let's join Tony Caridi and Ed Stefanski. West Virginia's Gail Catlett trying to engineer some final second strategy here. We approach the one-minute mark. The Mountaineers lead it by three. Chris Leonard, the leader for West Virginia, with 20 points. 18 of those came in the opening half. The shot clock now, after the timeout, is inside of 10 seconds. This is Michael Boyd. Jeremy Botkin inside with one second on the clock. Rebound down to Victor Starkin. The Owls can tie it with a three. West Virginia staying in the 2-3 zone. They have to extend it, take away the three-point opportunity with the shooters McKee, Kostarth, and Jones on the outside. And remember, Kilgore can shoot it from outside. All four Temple players on the perimeter. Here is McKee. The shot clock is of no consequence. The game clock you see in the bottom right-hand corner. Here's for the tie. Kilgore. Our Starkin. West Virginia has possession. West Virginia has the victory. It is on to the championship game of the Atlantic 10 tournament for the West Virginia Mountaineers, who for the second time this season come into Philadelphia to knock off the Temple Owls. And perhaps, Ed, this is the victory that West Virginia needed to go to the NCAA tournament. 44-41, West Virginia. Upstairs now to Mike Green. Rhode Island and UMass in the other semi of the championship game here Thursday night. Damaging loss for Temple. They fall to 17 and 12 now. Probably will not get into the NCAA tournament. The winner of our MAC championship game is into the big dance. Let's rejoin now Dave and Raff, where Manhattan continues to lead. Thank you, Chris, and that was some finish in Philly. And congratulations to Gail Catlin and the WVU Mountaineers. Great win in Philly. 
overcoming some obstacles Boy, over there. Huh? Here at our game of the MAC final. Sal is trailing Manhattan. The Jaspers played a whale of a game. They're up by six. But here comes Randy Woods. While we were away, Woods went. Woods will be called for the charging foul there. It's his third. Second foul was picked up in the last minute and a half. While we were away, a three-point play by Woods. And when he went to the foul line, it was the first time that LaSalle had gone to the foul line all evening. And they did that with 11 minutes left. Well, a perimeter-oriented club. LaSalle's man-to-man -man helped, and they went to a half-court trap, then back to the zone. This trip, man-to-man, -man, so speedy, not sleeping over there. David Burnsley, good cut to Bullock. Foul on Levers before the shot. You're not used to playing man to man. You trail oh, the cutters. No Those that flash can receive it a little easier. Some of the other scores from around championship week here on ESPN. Drexel Dragons opened up a big edge. That, that was tied early. Delaware pulling away from Vermont. Keith Bullock has been outstanding tonight. 21 points, four rebounds. He's looking at more. Come on. Come on, the first. First team back on Mac the last two years. The more of the year in his freshman year. Now, the more you watch him, he, he's not a flashy post player, but he's a guy who just gets the shot off, knows how high he has to go up, very knowledgeable in that block area. It's rooting with the rebound. 64 57, Manhattan. 9.26 left in the ballgame. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. As we mentioned, Manhattan hasn't been to the tournament since 1958. Hurt, quick shot, got it. And he had been quiet. Pretty good defense had been played by him. Kerry Edwards first. This time, Wilson on him had a couple inches. 20 points for Hurd, his fourth three-pointer. Four-point advantage for Manhattan with the ball. Winston Burns gets hammered by Hurd. And Hurd's upset. Because, because he had to come weak right. side. The defense didn't react. That has been open, though. Not that particular play, but the three-second area. And don't forget Jack Hurd, two-time academic All-American. So maybe he should be listened to, well, right? That's how much things have changed at LaSalle. First, they have girls. A lot of four-row students since I went there. They play in the NCAA. The only thing that most of the guys that I play with, Frankie Corris, Jimmy played in Tony Abbott with luck, with this ability to shoot the three. See it up. 11 points for Burnley. He's most, got six boards. Most of us before our time. You bet. <laughs> I think uh, from what I've heard, stories that they're still floating around Philadelphia. You'd be pretty comfortable at the NCAA 3. Well, that, that, that Gola may be the only one. All huh? right. Not a bad. Put the school on the map. Gola goal. Mm -hmm. Six points, Manhattan over LaSalle right now. 66-60. You see your clock. And Zink had a few of those, didn't he? Dave Zinkoff, legendary. The late Dave Zinkoff, mm -hmm. legendary voice at basketball in Philly. Wow. Jack Heard, man, you talk about a quick draw McGraw. How about gambling with them? You can't deny and get back in position. Don't turn them into those easy jumpers. 23 for Jack Heard. Manhattan had been up by nine on a couple of occasions. It's down to three. Bullock working hard, has it sent back. Wooten got a piece. The Explorers. 8-14 left in the ball game. Manhattan 66, LaSalle 63. Blitz from the course to Brian Capers High School. Not a bad shot blocker, as we noted earlier. Andy Woods pops out. NBA 3 gets hit. Oh. Scores it. Falling backwards. What a jack job on that one. Ties it at 66. Don't take those shots or you won't play again. Wow. Neubauer with the steal. Watch this. Woods up strong. Left hand, no. Rebound, Bernsley. And Wisely reacts knowing Woods is behind him. Pretty good job as Woods went for the body. Manhattan pulled away. Woods with 25. He's got six threes. Bullock with the steps. Tide is turning. And Manhattan under a little bit of pressure here with 7.27 left. We got a tie ball game with the MAC Championship in Albany, New York. With you, a festival of threes here, Raph. Well, so Tommy Heinz, I mean, they used to call him Ack Ack. Well, LaSalle's got a couple of 
quick repeaters. Heard and Woods. Just awesome. And I think he could have gotten the foul here as he drew the defender, Russ Williams, with him. The quick release, he was banged into. But they have as quick a feat as you'll see in the country. Woods, six for 10 from three. Jack Hurd, five for nine. <laughs> they have been outstanding. Here's Hurd again. Gets an inch. Got his left short. Lost the drive. Out on Wilson. Wilson can't believe it. I think that ball did go out on Randy Woods. Kerry Wilson just can't believe it. The Sal's on a 12-5 run. Steve Lapis. What are you going to do? Yeah. Well, he's done a wonderful job to get the lead, have them hang in. It's now a matter of rebounding these long ones if they don't go. Lou Bauer and Levers, no question. Levers mm -hmm. over the top. That's his fourth. Burnsley goes flying and a good call on that one. And now poise on offense is essential for Manhattan. Uh, Speedy wants up tempo. Great expression, huh? Don't forget, coming up tonight, championship week continues. Tulsa against Southwest Missouri State for the Missouri Valley Conference Championship. And then following Sports Center, it's Gonzaga against Pepperdine. That for the championship of the West Coast Conference. A lot of basketball. Great week for college hoop fans here on ESPN. Check this out. <laughs> LaSalle doing a great job, right? One for one at the line. Well, what's that philosophy? Get it inside, draw the body, get to the free throw line. Not at LaSalle. And they do have some big bodies. Ron Holland, Holland. Holland into the game. Levers goes out. Uh, Speedy Morris changed his whole philosophy at the South. Burnsley with 13.6 rebounds. You remember his high school coach. I mean, they were sure enough. Did the he turned out some fabulous players at Roman Catholic High School uh, in Philly. Broad and Vine, mm -hmm. Mike Bantam among them. Right, strong defense, good shot selection. Now going with the times and. He could have my meal money that I left down there at LaSalle. <laughs> he deserves it. Speedy in his sixth year is 138-51 at LaSalle. Next year, he will become the winningest coach in LaSalle history. Nice defense here. Heard not quick enough. Williams pulls. Scores. Well, I thought he should have given it to Wilson, cutting to the goal. A, yeah, same here. Was it two? Yeah. It just missed the three-pointer. So it's 70-66 Manhattan. Ron Holland looking down deep. There's Jack Hurd. Fades three. No air ball. Good put back by Randy Wood. There's that rebound that you mentioned, but he sees the ball. That's twice now. Dave Hurd has not had his legs. 27 for Randy Woods. Manhattan by two. Wilson to Burnsley up top. Bullock wants it inside. He's got a lock down and a good intercept by Hurd. Almost walks. Woods. Nice foul. Sure was. Instead of committing one later and a possible three. Randy Woods can get out on the break quickly. You've seen a lot of Tim Hardaway with Golden State. Would you like him, uh, Woods a little bit to him? Uh, the defense that they don't talk much about at LaSalle. Heard alert. And making sure before he walks, the foot speed extraordinary. And he wants, he's doing it all. 20. Ref referees. Scoring. Drilling threes. Rebounding. What kind of comparison would you make Woods to Tim Hardaway at Golden State? Well, you like him with the uh, crossover, and Hardaway, obviously, people feeling he's the best in the NBA. I think he's got better range right Woods? now. Ooh, almost had a four. Then almost looking at a four-point opportunity. Then Hardaway had coming into the league. He's explosive like Tim. I think Tim gives it up a little bit better. Uh, or more yeah. often. More, more often. often. <laughs> I think Randy uh, moving to the NBA level will have to give it up a little bit more, but certainly his, his leg strength is up and body strength to play well there. Four fouls on Wilson. 27 points for Randy Woods. The three boards, the seven assists. Had nine rebounds a couple of nights ago against Fairfield. Tonight he hit 42. Misses that one. Woods from the foul line on the season at 81% is Ray Schultz. Speedy Morris' bench. Speedy actually pretty well dressed. Normally that tie is gone by now. The jacket's long gone. It's a three free throws because he was fouled outside the three-point line. The attempt and he goes one for, one for three. One-point ball game. Manhattan with the ball. 5.45 and counting left in the ball game. And this has given Manhattan a little trouble at 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. They got Woods. Woods, they let him go with the first tap, the second tap, they nail him for the foul. That's his fourth. 
Wipe that one down at 538. 538, Woods fourth foul. Initially, they get to the postman a tad late. Neubauer in with the hand and, well, maybe a nickel dime variety, but it does create a possible turnover situation. So four fouls on Randy Woods. Burnsley to the line. He's got 14 points. Seven rebounds, now shooting six for seven from the line. Pretty good crew with Jody Lee in the pack here, Bet. controlling the game, a lot of emotions, and also their homework was checked too because they knew Randy had done some work in the last couple of nights. And they said they talked to the teams too about it. Burnsley one for two from the line. And Manhattan up by a deuce with 5.36 left. Newbauer looking for Woods and a good anticipation by Kerry Wilson. <laughs> Randy, can, Woods, Randy Woods is glaring at Wilson. You kidding me? He can scoot. He had a long way to go. They ran a series of staggered bumps. Wilson did a super job. Mm -hmm. Good anticipation. Hurt his left hand yesterday against Iona. Doesn't really remember how. He knew he had done it earlier in the year. Ron Holland. Good up fake. Second time he's used that move. Mitch Wilton. No. Bullock. Overpowers and comes up with the loose ball. Manhattan looking to build on the two-point lead. Good patience by the Jasper. Bullock doing a good job backing down. Wilson strong with the right hand flip. No good. Holland gets the rebound. Wow. Andy Woods. Oh, brother. What was that? A good three, four steps beyond uh, NBA three. 25 feet. Before your two. big guys get in there. Of course, you don't want them in too deep. It's going to bounce long. Clock running. Manhattan 430 away from its first NCAA appearance since 1958. Jack Powers was there. Okay. Going to the book. Good turn inside by Bullock. And Holland will be caught for the foul. Third on Ron Holland out of Bangor, Pennsylvania. 6'8", 245, a senior. Notre Dame down big to Evansville. Isn't that something? On the road, so that was a crusher the other day. Jimmy Cruz has had some year. Mm -hmm. Quietly. Now that game the other night against DePaul, right? Costly, yeah. Bullock, six for nine at the line. I did not see the coat throwing episode, but I'm told, nor I. Uh, I had heard uh, last night that no. it, the coat went on the floor. He, he, brought, on. he might have uh, he might have threatened um, the uh, long jump record. I mean, he must have been close to 30 feet, I'm told. John McLeod, just a marvelous job with that team. Outstanding. Costly T. Look at that Manhattan bench. And a few minutes away from the NCAA tournament. Bullock one for two at 72-69. Manhattan... 4-16 left in the ball game. This is the Jasper's first ESPN appearance. Manhattan at 23 and 7. They finished the MAC season at 13 and 3. The South finished second in the MAC at 12 and 4. Nice. Blitz Wilson with the catch. Good foul. Now there's a case where Wilson attacked Woods. He's not going to shoot it in half court, but right. maybe I'm wrong. Well, I could be wrong. I tell you what, let's leave the door open. <laughs> All right, leave the door open. And going after him, he opens up the dribble entry this far from the basket. And that's like he drew me him out. guarding you. I mean, I would have blown by. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Just They've invented video teams since you played. <laughs> Slow-mo was my middle name. <laughs> But just a terrific look at the end of that by Woods. Blitz Wooten at the line. Front rims that first one. 52 percenter on the season. And Speedy. Speedy could use a little bit of scoring blitz right now. From Trenton, New Jersey. McCorriston High School. Long on the second one. And Burnsley comes up with the rebound. Now 23 and 7 Manhattan. The most wins ever by a Manhattan club. Attack but with control, the secret for Manhattan. Don't pull the plug. Coming up on the 340 mark, as you can see. Manhattan up by three. Now only up a three. That's no comfort with no. going against the South. They've been using a lot of motion, whether it's fan or zone. 
story this could be if Manhattan could pull it off. Shot clock at 10. They got to go. Out of contact. Edwards pulls, fires, no good. Long rebound. Oh. Woods. Quick hand. And heard. Oh! Picked off. Great job. Look at Speedy. Oh my Speedy goodness. goes prostrate on the floor. He just took a dive. Oh, oh. man. Well, it's Lent. Speedy. Press. Speedy really into this one. Threw his coat the other night. Well, that's one of the few times you'd holler at Woods for a pass. Yeah. Cross court at that. Newbauer with the foul against Wilson. And Manhattan Jasper's trying to hang on here. They're up 72 69. Fortunately, he has the front porch because when he hit the deck, if he were solid, we'd be counting him out. Third foul on Newbauer. Those four rebounds, Woods is amazing how he can gather them up. Came out of the pack nicely. First of two for Wilson. Nails that one. Gary Wilson from the line on the season 68%. He's got eight points on the evening. As noted last night, I thought he came in and gave them a, a lift. Good penetrator, the stroke. Hit a couple of used the glass nicely last, last night. Oh. Yes, well, Speedy Morris with his little dance at the top of your screen off the errant pass by Randy Woods. <laughs> you gotta be nuts. For years, you've depended on State Farm. Killing them right out of the big dance late in the first half. Thanks, Chris. Welcome back to the Knickerbocker Arena in Albany, New York. And I think uh, Speedy could get a favorable ruling here from the, from the Romanian judge. <laughs> Unbelievable. What'd you say he looked like? Greg Luganis. Looks like Greg Luganis at the Olympics. I, I think he's from a tough neighborhood. He must have heard a it's car the, backfire. <laughs> it just <laughs> went prone. Well, I can relate to coming from Philly, so I can understand where he's coming from. He's from Roxborough, from, from Mount Airy. Well, quick hitters, sort of the mood and tenor of the LaSalle offense. Wood or Hurd? Woods or Hurd? Levers is wide open. New Bauer. Hurd. Stroke short three times now. He, as you mentioned, did not have legs. Oh. It becomes tougher now to be loose on the jumper. You bet. Why well, you need some inside game. NCAA bid on the money right here. Use the clock. Penetrate at the end. I think everybody acknowledged that Manhattan was the underdog, even though the number oh. one seed. Randy Woods a bullet right out of the pack. Lays it in. Bursley alertly not fouling. He can run them down. 30 points for Randy Woods. Clock at two minutes. Manhattan up by three with the ball. This trap was effective, Dave. What do we got? A whistle, timeout, Manhattan. One of Steve Lapis talking to Carrie Edwards, trying to make sure everything is straight, everybody on the same page against this press. Manhattan by three with a minute 51 left here in Albany. In trying to be Sims and Bill Raftery with you, the Mac final with Manhattan up by three with the ball, a minute 49 left. With the winner going to the NCAA tournament. And for you NBA aficionados. They had two seconds by the time clock to hit 35, which would have been a violation, but you get a new 10 when you inbound it from the side. Therefore, no backcourt violation. Clock counting down. And Manhattan up by three. Shot clock at 14. Levers doing a much better job on Bullock. Edwards got it. Big bucket. 76 71. Carry Edwards. Edwards with 12 points. Got to look for Hurd, popping out. Give and go, and a reach over over the back. Terry Wilson. And what happens is you stop the clock, you give a very good free throw shooter an opportunity, and they were not aligned the way Speedy wanted them. That's five fouls on Terry Wilson. He's gone after scoring nine points. Terry Wilson off the bench. Did a good job. Played well tonight. He sure did. He's a nice-looking player. 
told me he had to hurt the hand again last night, but it was hurt during the year, he said, as yeah. well. Gave Steve Lapis some boost. Indeed. Back comes Russ Williams. Started the game. Between Williams and, uh, and Wilson, done their best to try to hold down Randy Woods, if you could ever say a guy was held to 30. Well, he, usually you get some help from others taking shots. You get a little breathing room, but LaSalle looks for her and Woods on a regular basis. Something interesting, it's only the uh, Woods two for four. At the line, make it three for five. So not a lot of line opportunities. And check his legs, Dave, for a great shooter. There's what they're playing for that big trophy and more. He doesn't use the legs as much as he might on his jump shot. Good form, good rotation. Three-point game. 67 seconds away from the NCAA tournament. Press. Really closing Ooh. in. Oh, hurt with the piece. We got a backcourt. They got a backcourt. Indeed. That's a tough situation. May have been a piece of the ball. Yeah, and you can see it on Steve Lapis's face. A timeout on the floor. 55 seconds left on the clock here at Albany. It's Manhattan by three. Thank you, Chris. Dave Simpson, Bill Raftery with you. And boy, do we have a terrific finish here at the Mickabacher Arena in Albany, New York, the capital of New York State. What do you think, Raft? If you're Lapis, had a great year, 23 and 7. What do you need some plays here? Well, defensively, you've got to think of the shooters. You've got to go ahead. Here's all the homework. And LaSalle will be shooting the two next Manhattan. And in terms of Woods, the guy you look for, Heard here. Well, you've got to look for the bumps. They go all the way through on the baseline. That yeah, looks like Woods. Fading. Short. Blitz Wooten. Rebound. Flip. Scores. One-point game. They got a lot out of the half court. I think they're going to have to go over the top. Timeout called by Manhattan with 33 seconds left. And Manhattan down to its final timeout. LaSalle has one timeout, too. Crunch time here in Albany. Manhattan by one. Mom? Last 17, trying to get to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1958. And this particular sequence, who are you going to foul? Who are you going to give it up to? Bullock is the 6 of 10. The only other guy that's stopped what you call extraordinary from Manhattan is David Burnsley. Bullock on the year at 72%. Burnsley at 64, but tonight, Bullock, 6 for 10. Inbounding the ball is going to be tough, man. A lot of pressure here on Manhattan to get it in. Don't forget, Randy Woods has four fouls. Nice step through. Oh. There's a step through, indeed. LaSalle with the ball. Randy Woods in the corner. Chance to win the ball game, and LaSalle calls timeout. You were so right. Tough to get the ball inbounds, and LaSalle made the pickoff. Burnsley with the nice step through, and LaSalle rejoicing. But then he made the errant pass. Somebody had to pop into the line or free themselves. Uh, he had nothing on the pass, no. LaSalle with no times out left. Manhattan with one. And this is why you stay after do all the extra drills Listen, with, with nice oh. power dribble through but look at the pass so many people too long a pass and LaSalle going to that when necessary and now you've got to think of the same play they've been running Dave the two guards exchanging under the basket nobody has a choice of either one or you might look for Woods just like the NBA go to the goal and if you're Jordan, you go to the free throw line. Hey, absolutely. Are you kidding? <laughs> but he's hey, a great passer. And he's also a great passer. That's, right. That's what makes him so tough. And here's the other thing. It's uh, LaSalle should be able to get a high percentage shot. And I don't mean a high percentage three. Oh, wow. They should be able to, if you will. I Maybe we should qualify that. But they should be able to get a good shot in, in good range and maybe be in position for a putback by uh, some of the big guys, Holland mm -hmm. and Leavers. Don't forget, coming up next, Missouri Valley Championship, Tulsa against Southwest Missouri State right here on ESPN. Now, Manhattan has to make it tough. They know the plays, know where to challenge, and don't overcommit for the shot that they can bounce by you. 
Manhattan by one. You see the time left in the ball game. Winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Neubauer with some trouble. Picked up by Holland. Holland will go. Holland hits. Ten seconds left. Manhattan calls timeout. Oh, talk about an unlikely power source. Are you kidding me? Nothing works the way the time. You called it. Manhattan knew where the explorers were going to go. And Brian Holland with the dribble drive, the pull up. Well, when in doubt, you go to anybody that's available. Not that Holland can make this on occasion, but big time goal, Mr. Holland. But look at, look, look at Keith Morris. His son. <laughs> Keith Morris holding his dad back. No flops now, Dad. Oh. LaSalle scored the last six points, and now they need some defense for six seconds. They are a courageous team. Uh, Speedy not feeling well during the year. That's right, Speedy yeah. missed the uh, an Iona game down in uh, Philly. January 4, he had some chest discomfort, was hospitalized and released after a day or two. Now, Dave, when you look at this timeout, Speedy's saying, I'm sure, you've got to push the ball backwards. Don't let them turn the corner. Force it into the backcourt trying to use as much clock as possible. Zubra with penetration. Very good. Edwards, the ability to turn the corner. And the dump to Bullock Low. What a story written by Steve Lapis and the Manhattan Jaspers. Six seconds away. They need a big bucket here. Here's Edwards. Can't get it. Rebound. Cleavers. Pocket. One second left. Manhattan ball. Possession to Manhattan. Possession to Manhattan. No times out left. One second left, LaSalle by 177-76. Got to force the deep pass, you'll have to get a corner jumper. Not many people to lob to. LaSalle has come from behind to win the MAC championship. Trouble cutting down the net there, but LaSalle breaks the uh, disappointing string last year. They didn't get in, but now it's four out of five championships of the MAC. They are into the NCAA tournament again. Game number two tonight, the championship of the Missouri Valley Conference. Tulsa, the upstart team, the fifth seed against Southwest.